I'm so excited to be able to present the new features to you that have been added to Bravo Studio with the launch of Bravo 3.0. I'm talking about take payments with Stripe, display maps with custom markers, access the user location, and import API requests with just one click, connect multiple data sources to a single page, OAuth 2 support, send and manage notifications using one signal, and test your app using versioning. You can now take payments right inside of your app. Simply add a payment form to one of the pages and connect the project to your Stripe account with one click. This lets you receive one-time payments, which would be great for a store for physical products, for example. You can add maps to your app that will allow you to display data from any API. You can even use your own custom marker designs to highlight certain points. You can choose to either display an interactive map or just an image generated from Google Maps, which will improve the loading time. Maps are often found in tourism apps like this one. If the user gives you their permission, you will be able to access their location. And again, you will be able to use that with any API. For example, if you want to filter for relevant information around that area. This can be very powerful in connection with the Maps feature for apps like Uber Eats, for example. Creating a new data collection got even quicker. We now support a direct import of files from Swagger, Postman and OpenAPI. That way you can easily import API requests in bulk with our API wizard if you are using one of these providers. You can now bind multiple data sources to a single page. In Bravo, you can bind the elements of your app individually. This could be useful if you have several different lists in a single page. This works with form fields too. For example, if you want to create an edit page for more complex user profiles. The OAuth 2 support enables you to communicate with third-party services. For example, it could allow you to request secret user data from a database that you don't have access to. If you ever wanted to request the musical taste of your user from the Spotify backend, you can do that now. This could be also used to authenticate users with their preferred login provider. For example, let them log in with their social media profiles or their Apple account. Many services use OAuth, you could check a list below. Sending notifications has been possible with Bravo before, but now you can manage them using one signal. You can leverage the full power of it, like sending notifications to a single or a group of users, or schedule them of course. You can even set custom actions to take after the user clicks on one of these notifications. Versioning allows you to save the app as a draft before publishing any changes. This allows you to test the app with your team, and only if you're happy with how it looks, make the changes available to every one of your users. With these new features, you will be able to build even more powerful and complex apps. The written documentation is already available and there are videos coming soon, so make sure you are subscribed. Leave a like if you're excited to try out Bravo 3.0 and happy Bravo Rising!